I made a clock. Right, hello and welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at a clock I made and the process of me making it. After finishing our last EBN prac, which was our electronics module in the first semester, and the prac revolved around op amps, and I wanted to see after that what sort of circuits and whether even to the point of a certain level of, of computing you could do with just uh, ICs or integrated circuits instead of coding stuff. So I did a bit of research, looked around a bit, saw some incredibly intricate and absolutely massive uh, different like almost like reaching level of computers just made on breadboards, which was incredible to see. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be so cool if I could do that? And then I started looking at the prices of some of the components and I thought, wow, maybe I should look at something smaller. And I ended up finding on instructables.com. I found, it might be .com, not super sure, but I found a 24 hour clock that worked just with ICs. So this is the clock over here. Um, I'm going to show you the process of me making it. Uh, it's been a long time in the making. Uh, I did a lot of research trying to find the best price parts and I had a lot of the parts for ages and only very recently did I get the seven segment displays which were basically the last thing I needed to tie it all together. So yeah, I've really enjoyed making this and I hope you enjoy the video. We start off by putting the seven segment displays on the breadboard. Next, we connect a 220 ohm resistor to each of the seven legs that are responsible for the seven different segments uh, lighting up on the seven segment displays. We add six CD4026 ICs. Each display runs off one of these, and then we need to connect the wires up to specific from the seven segment displays up to specific pins from the ICs. Pause. We're going to interrupt this very important broadcast for a short word from our sponsor. It's me. Well, actually, my dad paid for a lot of the components. Anyway, back to the video. We then plug the two ICs in the circuit. These are responsible for bringing the 32 kilohertz that are output from the crystal oscillator down to eventually 1 hertz. We then put our final IC in, connect two diodes up to it and two buttons along with two resistors and these two buttons control the minutes and hours. Basically you only use it when you are needing to set the time. After just finishing off the last of the wiring our clock is completed. Please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh it works. Okay yes the seconds are a bit fast. That can be adjusted. Let's take down the brightness a bit so you can hopefully see it better. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how happy and excited I am that this clock works. Um, it was a lot more work than I was expecting. Um, I am surprised I managed to get it down into the time that I did. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can design like a frame for it and hang it on the wall behind probably uh, against the wall just behind my monitor and yeah I just I think it looks so cool so 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.